Although, uh, you guys probably already knew that, probably didn't need to say that. Anyway, today I am doing a waterproof makeup tutorial because, guys, spring is coming to an end very soon and summer is coming up. Like, I am so excited for summer, you guys have no idea because it's just amazing. Like, you get to go swimming all the time and there's no school. Oh my gosh, school's almost over, so I'm really excited for that as well. It's just going to be a really good time, so I'm very pumped for that. And in honor of the summertime, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be going to pool parties or just going swimming and there's a lot of hot days where you're probably going to be sweating all the time. So I decided to show you guys my go-to all-time favorite waterproof makeup look and when I say waterproof makeup look I don't mean like you only wear this makeup when you go swimming because honestly I don't even really wear makeup when I go swimming but it's kind of just like an all-around summer makeup look because you know in the summertime you sweat a lot and your makeup can just like sweat off of you which is not a good look we don't want to look like we've been crying and if you're at like a pool party or something and you get splashed or you decide to get in the water, this is just an all around perfect makeup look that's not going to sweat off, it's not going to budge, it's just going to stay on you for a really long time and I'm probably going to be wearing this makeup look throughout the whole summertime because it is like my new fave. So I hope you guys like it and I also used my waterproof camera which I'm really, really obsessed with so if you guys want to see more underwater stuff then let me know. And if you try out this look, then please send me your recreations to my Twitter or my Instagram or my Facebook because I want to see your faces. And I hope you guys like this look and let's get started. Oh! Okay, so first we are going to start off with the face and obviously we are going to be choosing BB cream instead of liquid foundation because it's a lot lighter, it's going to stay on your skin a lot longer and it is loaded with SPF which protects our skin from the sun so just apply that all over your face. And if you want a little bit more coverage then you can go for a waterproof concealer, mine is by NYX and I'm just applying that under my eyes and on any blemishes. You can even just use the concealer instead of BB cream if you don't want to use both but if you want a little bit more coverage then you can go ahead and double up. And to set everything, just go ahead and apply a very light face powder and also something with, of course, the more SPF the better because we don't want to get sunburned. Okay, now if you're planning on wearing eyeshadow on a really hot summery day where you're going to be going in the pool or something like that, the key is cream eyeshadows, you guys. So I'm just taking my Revlon Cream Eyeshadow Palette and selecting the Champagne Shimmery Color and applying that all over my lid with my ring finger. Then I'm taking kind of like a more matte coffee brown color and applying that to the crease of my eye. And you can also use a crease brush just to help blend out the color a little bit more. So I'm doing that. And then I'm taking the darkest cream shadow and I'm applying that actually to my lid closer to the lash line. And what this is going to do is make the eyeshadow look a little bit more smoky. And we need a pop of color, so I'm using my Maybelline Color Eye Tattoo in Painted Purple. It's again another cream eyeshadow, and I'm just using a very thin brush to apply that to my lower lash line. And it will stay on all day, and it just gives us a nice pop of color, which I think is awesome. And of course, we have to use some waterproof mascara, so I'm just using the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. And I'm telling you guys right now, this mascara will not come off for anything. Pinky promise you guys right now. And little tip, do not apply mascara to the bottom lashes when you're going to be getting in the water because it has a bigger tendency to come off. For cheeks, I'm using a cream blush by NYX in the shade Tickled, and it's a really nice peachy orangey color, so I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending it out. And this is just going to really soak into the skin and stay there for a long time. And of course, we are going to be using a lip stain. Mine is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain, and I'm just applying that to my lips. It's also really, really moisturizing, so your lips aren't going to get chapped and none of that stuff. And I absolutely love this color. Yeah, 
And that is the completed waterproof makeup. And I'm telling you guys right now, this makeup literally lasts so long. I was in the pool swimming like all day and it did not come off. It was a little trooper. And even if you're not going to go swimming, you're just going to a pool party or it's a really hot summer day and you're going to be sweating a lot, this makeup is for sure going to stay on for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. like a dried up rat right now. Yes! <laughs> Frosty the snowman. Oh my god, he's so nice. Look! Yeah, what is this? <laughs> he's the sun. Mm. That was not cute. <laughs> like, hold on, let me just grab this huge chunk of hair out of my face. <laughs>